Marissa. She's got a slick looking invention. Wherever there's a bike, there should be park and lock. But she hasn't shown it in public until today. I'm a little shy to talk with people about my invention. Did you know that some of the world's most famous inventions were made by kids? And did you know that some kids are even starting their own companies? Come along and think big, and we'll see how these everyday kids are doing it. Because they're just like you and me. And you know what? You can do it too. Did you know that some inventions just solve existing problems? Any problem from something big? like pollution, or something small, like losing your gloves. If you could solve a problem, what would it be? Well, bike locks are a problem for me. I forget the combinations and I lose the key. Today, we're gonna meet Marissa. She's invented an all-in-one bike rack and lock. And we're going to travel to Ohio. I'm Marissa and I'm a kid inventor. I live here in the town of Westerville, Ohio with my parents and with my dog, Daisy, too. We're the Denary family. One day, me and my mom went to the library and we saw the sign that said you had to leave your bike outside come inside and get a lock and chain if you left yours at home. I thought that was a silly idea because if you left your bike outside unlocked, someone could steal it. That's how I came up with the idea of Park and Lock. Park and Lock is a bike rack with a chain inside. All you have to use to unlock it and lock it is your thumbprint or a library card. So you don't have to carry around a big chain or a lock. My parents helped me and encouraged me, and they helped me through the whole process. Most adults just don't want to listen, and they'll just be like, oh, my idea is better. And, but kids have great ideas, and a lot of the stuff in the world kids have made. I play track. I play violin. This is my violin. And I like to draw. I started drawing when I was little, and I love drawing because it's fun. I like to draw pretty much anything. I have lots of sketchbooks. <laughs> Let's go look at my parking lock. So first step, you could either use a thumbprint or a card to release the chain, wrap it through the bike, and lock it up. Now it's locked. To unlock it, use the same thing, a thumbprint or your card, release it, take it out of your bike, Pull back the chain and lock it back up. Okay, so you don't need to bring a lock and the parking lock won't release your bike until you unlock it with your card or thumbprint. That's how parking lock works. The bicycle, a great invention with a few stops along the way. The early spike was kind of like a wooden scooter, invented around 1790 in France. Then, in 1816, a German inventor added the handlebars, which allowed some steering. But uh, there were still no pedals, so you had to move your feet across the ground to get it moving. In the 1830s, a Scottish man invented the first bicycle with pedals, but he didn't patent it and it didn't catch on. Finally, in the 1860s, a French father and son team invented a better bicycle. They had a long journey, but the bicycle was a great invention. Today, it's used by billions of people everywhere, all around the world. I wonder what other bright ideas are out there. Your cat fat 
lazy and bored? No. Then I have the invention for you. I'm Isaiah Moniz, and this is my cat, Wonderland. Your cat will be slim, active, and happy. Meow. My invention is just like a playground for cats. This is like a kid's playground when kids have lots of fun doing lots of things, right? Except this is just a cat's playground where it can have fun. It has a cat sleeping tent at the back that looks like an actual cat because it has whiskers and two ears. Meow. On the sides, there is two play areas, one green, one red, and also in the middle, there is two crisscross tunnels, and then there is a little tinfoil ball at the front. In case you're wondering, this of course isn't the actual size, because a cat cannot run through a five centimeter tunnel. It would kind of get squished. So this is just a prototype. The real thing will be much larger so that the cat can have lots of fun. My cat Wonderland is perfect for your cat. Your cat will wonder what he ever did without it. Now let's get back to Marissa. I think there is a big market for parking lot because there's millions of bikes all over the world. They need a safe place to park their bike. Schools and offices will want to buy it, and probably cities too. I hope that it'll be all over the world because I think it's a great idea and hopefully everyone else does too. Wherever there's a bike, there should be park and lock. Wait a minute, that park and lock looks pretty cool. Well, her first prototype looked a little different. But Marissa entered in an invention convention and she won a free week to work with a professional design company to make her park and lock look even better. And that's the version we see today. At Design Central, we, we had to make the prototype. It was a lot of work, but I had a lot of fun. And in the end, it was really worth it. So what is a prototype? It's like a model or sample, not necessarily the final version. It's something that people can touch and see so that they understand what the invention's all about and how it works. I'm here at Design Central to visit the people who helped me design my prototype. It'll be great seeing them again. I haven't seen them in, yeah, a while. It's been over a year since Marissa built the prototype with the team. She's back to review the design. I'm just curious, in that time, have you thought of any things that you would change if you could do it over again? Well, with the high price of bikes these days, people don't want to get them scratched. So with the plastic coating, it's safer and it will help not damage their bikes. And there could even be some band of rubber that we could put down here. What do you think of that idea? That's a good idea, too, yeah. I would love to see more kids inventing things. The sky's the limit. They have no boundaries, and you can come up with so many more ideas. Come in for summer break. You know, we could use you as an intern here. It was really nice to see designers and talk to them again. I'm feeling a lot more confident about my invention. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get far with it. Next up for Marissa, she'll be showing her invention to kids at the mall. You know what? I'm inspired by Marissa's inventions. Instead of driving around everywhere, it'd be much better for the environment if people rode around in their bikes or used their rollerblades or their scooters. Maybe people would use their scooters more if it had a place to hold a drink. Cars have cup holders, and even my bike has a place to hold a water bottle. I'll invent a scooter cup holder. So I took my red tape and I fashioned it into this pretty neat basket. And then I attached it onto the clamp and I stuck it right on, nice and firm so that it doesn't come off. So I have my juice box here and I'll just stick it in. It's nice and snug, it's not gonna come out. I think I'm ready to take a ride. I'm going. And then when I'm thirsty, I'll just stop, take a few sips, put it right back in, no worries there. 
What other bright ideas are out there? How about a toy truck? Hard to believe, but in 1963, a six-year-old named Robert Patch invented a toy truck. It could be easily assembled and disassembled by a kid. Even cooler, it could be changed into different types of trucks, like a van or a dump truck. Robert's Toy Truck, a super cool invention made by a kid. Now, we're gonna meet Calder. He's figured out a way to use the sun's energy to power his toy car. Let's check it out. Take it away, Calder. Ooh. Hi, my name's Calder Lyons. I invented the solar power dinky car and this is my room. Most of the stuff that I have up on these shelves are stuff that I built. There's this hotel that I built. There's like a little door here, so I can go inside. I have here a Viking ship and a glow-in-the-dark ball that I got for my birthday. I got a 3D puzzle up there that glows in the dark. Also, I have this wooden plaque a few summers ago, I used a magnifying glass and put my name in this piece of wood by using a magnifying glass to burn in the letters. He lives in Ontario, Canada. I live in Burford and I live with my mom, my dad, and my brother. My brother's name is Michael. He is 10 years old. Well, I've never really thought about being an inventor before. I've invented a few things when I was little. When you're thinking up ideas, write it down in a journal. So this is my inventor's journal that I use to, when I think up an invention, then I write it down in here. There's some like are like really crazy, like the 3D cracker and the 27th letter. Robo dude, who's this robot that I just made up and he like delivers all your food and pop and drinks and stuff to you. Another one was a white chalkboard and black chalk because like chalkboards are always black and that sort of gets kind of boring. I came up with the solar powered dinky car because I was thinking solar powered and people wouldn't want to like just buy batteries. This solar powered dinky car still runs on a battery, but the battery is charged up by a solar panel. This solar panel absorbs light from whatever light source there is. The energy goes through these wires down through these wires here, and into the battery pack. Then, once the batteries are charged up, the car goes through this wire to the car. It goes like this. I like solar energy because it keeps the environment healthy. I sort of wish that more things in the world were solar powered because like solar powered cars, like actual cars would be pretty cool instead of like gasoline that would pollute Earth. It wasn't really hard to find parts because I took a solar panel from a calculator and my dad helped me solder the wires to hook them up to the battery pack. From the calculator that I took apart, I put all the buttons in here. Plus five, eight percent. Yeah, I like taking things apart because like all the separate pieces that like I can get to keep and maybe someday I'll make something out of all these pieces. So this is my dad's workshop where he helped me build my solar powered dinky car. We used the solder gun, which is right here. And it's really, really hot, but it isn't turned on. So it's not hot right now. It was my first time ever soldering. The most fun part was probably either soldering the wires from one to the other or taking apart the calculator yeah, I feel so lucky that my dad lets me take things apart because if I didn't take anything apart, I wouldn't know how like a keyboard works or anything. I think my dad brought home this old keyboard from his work and he thought that Michael and I would be interested to take it apart. If you have like any junk lying around in your storage room or basement, take it apart and see what's inside. But you might find some interesting stuff, but ask your friends first. My brother's an inventor, but he's not the only one, because I, because I've invented something too. That's right. This is my invention. We call it a V shovel. We call it this because it's sort of like a V, 
And what it does is it's the exact size of a sidewalk so that you don't have to keep like going back and forth and back and forth. You just go along once and it packs the snow up to the side. Me and my dad, we cut off an angle on the two shovels and all the sides so that they just fit together and then we just used a bracket and bolted them together. Well, I got my drink holder, but all this talk about solar power has given me an idea. Have you ever noticed that lots of adults take a drink, like coffee, with them in the morning? I thought that if I could create something to keep that coffee warm, it'd be a great addition to my drink holder. Now for the solar part. Did you know that if you wear dark colors in the sun, it'll attract heat? And if you wear light colors, it'll reflect it. I know this because I have dark hair and it gets really hot in the summer sun. So I thought I'd make a black drink container to go with the drink holder. Get it? I'm hoping that it'll stay warm in the sun because the dark colors will absorb the heat from the sunlight. Maybe it'll appeal to those morning commuters. Well, I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is my warm drink container. I wonder what other bright ideas are out there. When I was playing video games with my friends, I wasn't comfortable where I was sitting. So I decided, what if I invented something that was really comfortable? My name is Ben Miller, and this is my invention, the gamer's chair. The gamer's chair is used when you are gaming and you don't have a comfortable spot to sit. The gamer's chair has swivelable armrests and is swivelable, making gaming more comfortable. It also has gel armrests for extra comfort. Some games might not want the armrests, so you can easily just slide them behind the chair. It can fold up easily and is very lightweight. The headrest becomes a handle and it can easily be taken to a friend's house. Well, without my gaming chair, your back would hurt, your head would hurt, and your hands would hurt. With my gaming chair, it makes gaming a lot easier, and it makes it a lot more fun. Gaming will never be the same. Now let's get back to Marissa. You know Marissa had a bright idea, and now she's going to the mall to do some market research. Do other kids like the parking lock? Are you ready to go? Yeah. Are you excited? Yep. Oh, this should be awesome. I think it's a good idea to hear the people's feedback because it'll be good to see if people would use it and would like it. I hope people will react positively to it because I think it's a good idea and I hope okay. they do too. All right, well. I do think um, negative feedback is good because it'll help me improve my parking lock. Can't open the car. Frozen? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> there there you go. go. I'm a little shy to talk to people about my invention. I've never done this before, never taken it out. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah? I'm here at the mall to get some consumer feedback on my invention of parking lock. So what exactly is consumer feedback or market research? It's when you show your invention to a bunch of people and they tell you honestly what they think and whether they'd use it or not. It's basically like asking a bunch of different people, what do you think? Park and lock is a bike rack with a chain inside. You can use your thumbprint or a card, like a library card, to unlock and lock it. It does seem pretty small. How old were you when you went back I was in probably sixth grade. I hate carrying locks around. It's heavy. Would you have to carry this around or would it just be everywhere? It would just be everywhere. These are all over the place. It would be very convenient. Um, the reaction was really good. They really liked my idea and my invention. They thought it was a really good idea. Definitely harder to steal from this than it would be a lot would be good outside of school. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. I think it's sweet. So, would you use this if you rode your bike? I would. Yeah. I would, too. Yeah? Yeah, I would use it. I'd definitely use it, yes. 
<laughs> it looks like nine out of nine kids would use Marissa's invention. Way to go, Marissa. I think it turned out really good and I got some good feedback, but I was a little nervous because I didn't, I was talking to people I didn't really know. How'd it go? It went really good. Oh, that's great. I think they were impressed that I just, I invented it and it was, wasn't an adult that did it. Yay! <laughs> I am so proud of you. You did great. Thank you. I'm feeling really great from this whole experience and what people have said about my invention. It does feel like it's actually going to happen and it, it's, it's pretty exciting. Marissa saw a problem and invented a solution. It gave her the opportunity to create a cool looking prototype. She got some great feedback from the kids at the mall. It looks like the parking lot has a good chance of becoming a reality. Well done, Marissa. But if Marissa can do it, so can you. All you have to do is think big. You know what? I'm actually quite proud of my invention. The cup's still staying on. Let's see if it's still a little warm. <coughs> Yuck. Still a little warm, but I do not like drinking coffee. Ugh. Next time, I'm just gonna make some hot chocolate. See you next time. And remember to think big.